today let's talk about the three types of book series and which ones work best for romance novels. I'm Lisa, best-selling co-author of the Snow and Her Seven Seals series, and on this channel we talk all about romance writing, specifically for newbie and aspiring romance authors. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday. Now there are three types of series, and I know some there's a ton of videos out there on how to write a series bible, and I think the way you need to write your series bible is largely dependent upon the type of series you're going to be writing. So first let's just talk about serials. Now there's two types of ways the word serial is used. So if you ever read on the Radish app, there are there's a new chapter sort of every week and you have to pay with coins or money or even on Amazon, you could have a serial, a book that's broken up into different chapters and then the reader is forced to purchase you know each new chapter for $1.99. So that is one way to define a serial and that can work for romance in those different formats. The other type of serial is a full-length novel and the same character repeats over and over again kind of like a TV show so it's more episodic in nature. So if you think about Janet Ivanovich's Stephanie Plum series that is a serial of a full-length novel and typically this is best for action adventure or mystery so when we talk about full-length episodic episodic i don't know if i'm saying that right serials then we're not really talking about romance because once you have your happily ever after there's not a lot of incentive or interest in reading about that same couple over and over and over again um sometimes you'll see on the hallmark channel they will have a couple that gets together and then maybe the second movie in their story is about getting married and then maybe the next story in their uh love life is about having children right but usually that's kind of the extent of it. You never get 26 books like you have right now with Stephanie Plum because there would it just wouldn't be pointless. Typically those books have what's called romantic elements which means that there is some romance but it kind of is open-ended. If you think about that TV show Castle, the two main characters kind of danced around getting together and then they'd break up and then they'd go back together or they'd have some miscommunication or they date other people, right? So that is more of an episodic full-length serial novel versus the other one I talked about, which can be used for Radish or on Amazon. Now the next two are perfect for romances. The next one is a sequel. So sequels mean it's the same character and the books have to be read sequentially. So if you think about Twilight, those were four books. And if you read book three without one and two, you'd be a little lost and kind of confused on what was going on. Same thing with Fifty Shades of Grey. That was a trilogy and you couldn't read book three without reading books one and two first. So this is perfect for a romance following the same couple all throughout, maybe through different stages in life or through different situations that are going to be happening to them throughout the course of your book. Third one is a spinoff. So a spinoff means that there is a new romantic couple in every single book. The one thing unifying everybody throughout the series is that there is a common location or maybe a common event or maybe a common group of people like in the Black Dagger Brotherhood, uh, those guys kind of follow them throughout. Uh, in the Jill Shalvis Lucky Harbor series, it's the Lucky Harbor, it's all in one town. That's actually one of my favorite series. And this series could go on perpetually forever, just like the episodic, because you have a new couple every time and you just have maybe one or two unifying characters that kind of make appearances all the time. Maybe it's the mailman, maybe it's the innkeeper at the bed and breakfast. Uh, but either way, there is a new romance happening every single time. So let's recap. The first one was serials and there's two types of serials within there. One that works for romance, which is you force the reader to buy a new chapter every time, whether it's on Radish or it is on Amazon. And the other type of serial does not work for romance. That's usually for mysteries or for action and adventure. And you follow the same character like a Stephanie Plum as she solves mysteries. There are some romantic elements, but you're not really guaranteed a happily ever after at the end of each book. Now the 
Second type is a sequel. Sequels mean that the books have to be read sequentially. We follow the same couple throughout, but usually it's finite in nature. So maybe like the previous one, serials had have unlimited, right? I think there's 26 Janet Ivanovich books, but with sequels, there are usually, it's a duology, trilogy, or quadrology, I think I'm saying that right. And so there's a, there's a clear beginning and end to this particular couple's love story. Now, the third one is spinoffs. And spinoffs mean you have a common location, a common maybe festival or situation or something, and every single book has a new couple in it. And these books can go on forever. You could have 30 books inside the Jill Shalvis Lucky Harbor series if you wanted. All right, I hope that helps you on deciding what type of series that you want to write for your next romance. If you want to write a series at all, you don't have to. Standalone still do very great. Thanks so much for watching my video on how to create a series. And if you would like to talk more about the craft of writing, make sure to follow me over at Lisa Latte. So you want to subscribe to the new AuthorTube channel, which I have explained in a video actually this week from Monday on why I have two pen names, two brands, and a second AuthorTube channel. So everything going forward will be on that channel. All right, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you guys next week on the new author tube Lisa Latte Cozy Mystery Channel.